Hey guys, it's Joya. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming. You guys are the fucking best. Um, I really wanted to just uh, sit and talk with you guys about my New Year's resolutions. I honestly wasn't even gonna like do any New Year's resolutions because I felt like I'm making changes every single day. And you know, I didn't want to like rely on the New Year to like help me like, you know, be better. But you know, I'm like trying to take advantage of you know, the whole, like, the sense of rebirth that the new year brings. I really want to just, like, do things better, like, do certain things better and not do certain things. So, we're just going to talk to you guys about it because I am hoping that any of you give half of a fuck about what I want to do better in my life. Oh, Frankie's just going to plop on my pillow. I would love that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thanks. I have a few New Year's resolutions um, because obviously everybody could use some betterment in their life. Everybody could do better, be better. My first New Year's resolution is, was just to be healthier. I like don't live a super healthy lifestyle. I don't physically healthy, I mean. So I don't like work out ever. Like I never work out. I don't eat healthy. I really don't. Like I have a very bad diet and it's been that way my whole life. So I know that that is going to take a lot of time to, you know, transform, but that's okay. Um, because I feel like as long as I'm putting effort into it, changes will be made and I will end up where I want to be as long as I'm putting the effort in, you know? Um, cause yeah, like I said, I really don't have a good diet. I like literally, eat, I eat fried food all the time. I don't eat any fruits or vegetables. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that, but I literally don't eat any fruits or vegetables. Like I eat potatoes, which is not even a vegetable, it's a fucking starch. I eat onions, which are technically a vegetable, but they're not nutritious in any way. I, there's like some stuff that I can eat if it's mixed in with other stuff. Like I like some peppers and herbs, but um, as for, I don't eat any fruits at all. There are no fruits that I eat and I think it's just because I'm like a texture person like I, I don't like certain textures and I also really like certain textures and a lot of fruits have like a weird texture so that has been a thing. My whole life I've never liked fruits and vegetables and my parents when I was a baby I didn't like them and I fucking whined about it like babies do and my mom had already had five children by the time I came around and I was whining about it my mom was like like oh fucking K like Fine, you don't have to fucking eat it. Just shut the fuck up and stop screaming, please. So that was like, a, um, you know, like I wasn't like forced when I was little to eat fruits and vegetables, which I'm not blaming my parents by any means because I have had 22 years of chances to make the decision to eat healthier and I haven't. So, you know, but I'm trying, I'm, I'm really trying. My biggest issue is that I don't like lettuce. Salad, like eating a salad with like some grilled chicken is probably one of the like most nutritious things that you can eat. I don't like that. So I'm really, 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 really trying to fucking like lettuce. Why are you whining? Yeah, that's a thing. Um, I really just want to like be healthier in general. I used to work out a lot. Um, and then when I got into the shape that I liked, I stopped working out, but for whatever reason, I still look the same. So I just want to like be, you know, worry about my insides, not my outsides, you know? Like I'm, I'm really, I'm not worried. I'm not, I don't feel super insecure about how I look. I just like want my insides to be as healthy as my outsides look. You know what I mean? Because that's what's really fucking important. Just like having like, you know, like the right nutrients in your body, you know, like your blood needs a lot of nutrients, your skin, your bones, your organs, you know, all of that, your brain, all of that needs, you know, um, nutrients and, and a lot of the food that I'm eating is not doing that for me. And also, you know, exercising makes that big difference too. So I just want to be like healthier, generally speaking, because I feel like the past few years since I've gone to college, I kind of like felt off that and so I'm just trying to get back into that mindset and you know make myself healthier. My next New Year's resolution was to like love more and judge less. Um, I'm already a very um, compassionate person. I feel a lot. I'm very empathetic. I already, I feel a lot for people, but you can always do more of that. Um, I, I just want to, you know, make sure that I'm not um, ever making anyone feel lesser regardless of how they're making me feel. And I want to also, um, in that same sense, make sure that I am ready 
ridding myself of any, um, you know, bad energy that's being thrown my way because nothing can penetrate your life and your energy unless you let it. So if bad energy is being thrown your way, you can fucking like fucking block that shit. Get that shit out of here. We do not need it. Um, and it's up to us to make that decision and not let anything, you know, penetrate your being. So, and I feel like that is what's happening a lot of times when we're judging people. Um, we're letting like, letting certain energies penetrate our energy and that is, it's bad for everyone, you know? Like it's bad for me, it's bad for whoever I'm judging and it's, you know what I mean? Just like all around, that's bad energy and I don't want that. My next New Year's resolution is to empower women at all fucking costs. Like at all costs. I already am empowering women all the time and I know that. I, I absolutely, I put women first always but I feel like there's been times where you know a certain individual I had like a certain relationship with them you know whether that be like through a boy or just through some stupid drama or whatever um that you know it's just lingering and do not catch myself being a fucking hater like I'll be honest with you guys like I really like I catch myself being a fucking hater and I'm like what the fuck like that's not me that is not what I want to portray that's not what I want to exert that's like not it's not fair to anyone like I said like putting bad energy out is literally hurting it's hurting you more than it can hurt anyone else what Sally says of Susie says a lot more of Sally than of Susie okay so if you're out here talking shit about girls people in general but girls especially if you're a girl and you're talking shit about girls if there better be a great fucking reason if that girl is a really terrible person and she has hurt you and many other people fine you can you know what i mean talk about her a little bit or whatever but remember that you talking about her is doing absolutely nothing to her it is only forcing you to hold on to energy that is unnecessary you don't need to be concerning yourself with other people and like other people's issues and you definitely don't need to be concerning yourself with you know like just negative negative fucking energy like you guys should count how many times I say energy throughout this video and um, comment it <laughs> but for real like you don't need to be subjecting yourself to that and making yourself feel you know shitty because all like all you're really doing is like when you're talking about somebody you're just trying to bring them down to bring yourself up and you you don't need to bring somebody else down. They're two separate entities. This is you, this is someone else. Two separate entities. You can still move without this person moving. You do not need to bring this person down in order to bring yourself up. Do you know what I'm saying? So you are your own individual. I'm just trying to worry about myself and the people that I love and not be, you know, exerting any bad energy out into the world, especially to women because I love women and we already put up with enough fucking bullshit. We do not need to be against each other and, you know, making it difficult for each other to be happy, live, and love and all of that so um yeah that's a really big one for me i'm just trying to empower all women like i don't give a fuck i'm just trying to empower all women even the bitches even that fucking stupid bitch that scratched my face i shouldn't have even called her that even that that girl that scratched the fuck out of my face i just i want to make women feel like we don't need to be against each other we need to be on the same team you know and so i'm team girl i'm fucking girl team girl power all that shit and that is what I am running with this year. Uh, I'm trying to not, you know, let any of that. I don't want to make any girl feel bad about herself ever. Even if it's just in my head, even if I'm thinking about it or saying it without anybody around, I don't ever want to make, I don't ever want to put another woman down. My last New Year's resolution is to take, I want to say take my job more seriously, but I mean, I definitely do take it seriously. However, I could be putting way more time into it than I am as of now. And I think that's really important for everybody. You know what I mean? I, for you guys, especially, it's not fair to you if I'm not putting, you know, my full 150% effort into this. And also it's not fair to me because I'm teaching myself bad habits. You know, my trainer, the woman that fucking got me, in shape she always used to say how you do anything is how you do everything so when we we're in yoga class and I was trying to give up on a pose and I couldn't do it and whatever way 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 she would always say how you do anything is how you do everything so if you're gonna fucking give up on this pose and you know not give it your all and not work to the very last second that's how you're gonna do everything else in your life it's how you're gonna treat your relationships it's how you're gonna treat your goals it's how you're gonna 
you know, treat your job. So how you do anything is how you do everything, you guys. So let's do that shit together this year. Like I want to put my whole self into everything that I do and, you know, just like do my very best with everything. So even with these New Year's resolutions, it's like how I do these is how I do everything. You know, I want you guys to like do this with me. Like if we all hold each other accountable, then, you know, like everything just works better and smoother and everyone wins. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys. You guys are the fucking best. Um, like and comment if you want to see more from me. You guys should comment your New Year's resolution down here. If you have a New Year's resolution, comment it down below. I would love to hear it. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching this. I love you.